I'm Laura Trevelyan in New York City, and this is BBC World News America. The celebrations have begun for Queen Elizabeth, who's marking a record-breaking 70 years as monarch. The Queen appears on the balcony of Buckingham Palace with four generations of the royal family as the pageantry commemorating her platinum jubilee begins. A spectacular flypast by the Red Arrows, a 70 aircraft paid tribute to the Queen's tenure. I'm Katty Kay here at Buckingham Palace in London, where people from around the UK and the world have been gathering to join in all of the celebrations. We'll bring you the latest on the ceremonies throughout the programme and the rest of the day's news. Welcome to World News America on PBS and around the globe. We begin tonight in the United Kingdom, where the pomp and the pageantry is underway, marking Queen Elizabeth II's platinum jubilee, her 70 years on the throne. Tributes have been pouring in from world leaders. President Biden wished the Queen a joyful celebration. The BBC's Katty Kay is in London for us tonight with a fantastic view of the festivities. Katty the Queen is the longest serving monarch in UK history and a singular global figure. It must be quite the party on the mall. Yeah, there have been people here all day, Laura. It's been jam-packed activities here at Buckingham Palace. Earlier, the Queen walked out onto the balcony to oversee the Trooping of Colour parade, and that was followed up by a spectacular flypast, as you mentioned, of military planes. In a statement a little earlier, the Queen said that she hoped these four days of celebrations would create many happy memories for people right around the world. Our royal correspondent, Nicholas Witchell, starts the coverage. <laughs> 